What's up YouTube? In today's tutorial, we're going to look at how to add unique background videos uh, for collection items. This is something that comes up quite a bit. It's been requested uh, quite a few times. So I figured I'd just go ahead and make sort of a stream on it, showing kind of the step by step. So you notice all these items sort of have an image here. What we're going to do is add, uh, we'll open up our collection here. And let's go ahead and add an optional field that's going to hold our video. So we're going to want this to be a plain text field because the video field is meant for like Vimeo uh, YouTube embeds that are going to show the static player, which isn't what we want in this case. So I'm just going to put a plain text field called video URL. And I'll leave that not required, so it's completely optional. We can choose which collection items get the video. So let's talk about where we want to host our video. So, hey, Michael, welcome to the stream. There's a couple places we can host videos. Um, I like to host using a Vimeo Pro account. So you can upload your um, videos to Vimeo. If you click on that, it will open up here. And from there, I just go to the Settings tab. I go to Advanced Settings. And then I go over to the Distribution tab. So here it gives you a bunch of direct links to the video. So what I mean by a direct link, if we, uh, let's copy this 1080p uh, version. So what I mean by direct link is it's going to take you to the video itself. So you notice this is the actual video file. It's not inside a Vimeo player. So we need this direct link here. And be sure not to copy this because it gives you sort of a unique access token that expires. We need to copy the original link that does not expire. So this one right here. So when we copy that, let's uh, say this first item, seven ways to improve. Let's just paste that into the video URL field here. So we can go ahead and save that. And okay, so that's this item right here. What we're gonna do is add an embed inside the item. And then we want to basically display that video on the page. So I left the link to the code for this uh, in the description of this video. We can basically just copy this code. This is basically the code Webflow uses for background videos. And what we'll want to do is where it says your URL here, we'll want to replace that with the URL of our Vimeo video. So the URL we're pulling from the CMS. So that right there. And we can go ahead and save that. Now we need to set some sort of width and height on this. So I'll grab the HTML element, give it the class of video, and give it position absolute to cover its parent. Um, we'll say 100% width and 100% height. So we want this image to not show up if we have a video set. What we're gonna do is apply conditional visibility and we'll say basically if the video URL um, is not set, that's when we want the image to show up. So video URL is not set, um, we'll have the image show up. Otherwise the image is hidden. And then the video itself, let me go ahead and just give this a Z index so that way we're seeing the video. You have to apply Z indexes on videos for whatever reason to get them to show. Um, so we're gonna have conditional visibility on this because we don't want the other items to show it. So we'll do conditional visibility, video URL, uh, is set, that's the only time we want this embed to show up. So the items that don't have a video URL applied in them will not get a video, and the items that do have that video URL will get the video element. And we can use this on collection pages also. So if I just, you know, paste in that visual, we can do all the same stuff. So we have an image element pulling from the image field, a video um, pulling from the video field, and all that's basically set up there. So let's talk about maybe a free way to host videos. So Vimeo Pro obviously is paid, but you can actually host videos inside Webflow by just using a background video element. And as long as you save these videos on a hidden page, maybe just uh, save the page as a draft so it's archived, it doesn't show up on the live site. Um, but what you can do is just upload those videos directly inside Webflow using their background video component. But you're like, how do I get those URLs to display in the CMS? Well, all you would need to do is publish this here and we can, I'll wait for this to publish and let's open up on the live site. Um, page not found, that is because I saved it as a draft. So let me go ahead and allow it to be published just for a second so I can grab 
the URL to the video. So here we go. We have this hidden page with this video element. All I need to do is right click on it and click inspect. And so in here, I'll just open up this div. I'll open up this video and you'll see there's two sources, the MP4 and the um, WebM. So WebM doesn't work on all browsers. So I'm just going to grab the MP4 version and I'm just going to open that link in a new tab. And there we go, a direct link to a video that's hosted in Webflow. So all I need to do is copy that URL and now I can come back to my collection on any of these collection items, I'll say the 15 uh, best blogs, just paste in that URL to that video that's hosted in Webflow, save it, and now you'll notice that this is here and it's pulling from the video field um, and yeah, all that's hosted in Webflow. So we have the Webflow option, the Vimeo option, um, these, the video is optional per collection item. Each collection item can have a different video. And that's kind of how you set something like this up. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.